I'm Blake Hayes at the Stonewall Inn, today one of many gay bars in New York City, but in 1969 it was here where the gay rights movement was sparked in six nights of rioting, now captured in the new documentary Stonewall Uprising. In the civil rights movement, we ran from the police. That night, the police ran from us. It's the fairly untold story of an iconic moment in gay history and in American history, told by the people who were there. That's the match that lit the candle. Martin Boyce and Danny Garver were at the Stonewall Inn when it was raided by police in the early morning of June 28, 1969. There was a big line of cops all standing there, you know, with, with the billy bats. And they just went over and started beating and smashing their heads. And they got these, are these are 19, 20 year old kids, helpless little sissy kids. Right? But we mustn't yeah. have looked helpless. Something yeah. had changed. Yeah. Right then and there. They knew we weren't going to go away. <laughs> they knew more of us came back after that. And they kept coming for six nights over two weekends, and word of the riots spread. It catalyzed the movement for gay civil rights that had existed. David Carter wrote the book the documentary is based on. Kate Davis and David Heilbroner took it from the pages to the big screen. We had a chance to tell a story that's as important as Rosa Parks or, or uh, the March on Selma and put this film, put, put a really pivotal moment in the story of human rights squarely in the eyes of the public. Two out of three Americans look upon homosexuals with disgust, discomfort, or fear. The film is pieced together with interviews, some archival photos, and even reenactments. There were no instructions except uh, put them out of business. The filmmakers even interviewed the police officer who led that raid in 1969, the now 91-year-old Seymour Pine. And then that's what it was. It was a war. If he can change, if he can feel regretful and, and question the entire way that he was brought up, maybe everybody could. Our movement for equality is not taken as civil rights history, and it's not taken as United States history. It's not taken as human rights history. And so that has become my mission. And that's why I think it's so important that this American Experience film has been made. Especially the younger generation, gay or straight, who see this film. Uh, what do you hope they take from it? That, that we still have a fight ahead of us. Mm. That, you know, it's not so much as gay rights, as human rights. You know, I'm entitled to everything that any other human being has. And I'm still being denied it. Forty-one years later, full federal equality still has yet to be achieved. So the struggle that began June 28, 1969, within these walls, is still far from over. In New York, I'm Blake Hayes.